What's going on, guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman. You know, I knew with the way that Disney had decided to put the lockdown on all of this that if we wanted information about Avengers 4, it was going to have to come through slip ups and leaks. I did not think, however, that the most seasoned of pros was going to give up a huge detail this early in the game. And it just goes to show you that Disney can't be too careful. And even though they may try to suppress all the information about this movie, we're going to get it regardless. Before we break down what Robert Downey Jr. said, and it was a big one, he said it looking right at the camera, if you could grab the subscribe button, we're giving away two PlayStation 4 Pros, as well as a whole slew of other Marvel related stuff. All you have to do, hit the subscribe button, leave a like and a comment on this video, then hit the notification bell to keep up with the videos, and I'll get into all the giveaway stuff again at the end. So Robert Downey Jr. was doing a promo for Audi. I want to mention a couple of things. If you notice, this year, there was no Good Morning America announcement no announcement at all about the trailer release. They withheld the title for the entirety of this year and haven't let anybody say anything about it. I mean, shoot, last week at a Comic-Con, we had Tom Holland and Jake Gyllenhaal sitting on a stage talking about main plot points and the synopsis for Far From Home that doesn't come out till months after Avengers 4. So obviously Marvel is trying to keep every piece of information back that they can. That's why they're not letting actors talk about this. If you guys remember last year, Gwyneth Paltrow, when she was doing the media circuit, remember they were filming Infinity War and Avengers 4 back to back. She couldn't help herself when she's like, well, you know, they started like this and now they're married and they have a kid because people cannot regulate everything they say 100% of the time. And if it's on the record, once it's out there, it's out there. Well, Robert Downey Jr., as seasoned a vet as he is, is still a human being and is no exception to this rule, as he was doing a promo for Audi that, you know, I want to say was probably edited 100 times by the people over at Audi and probably approved by someone at Marvel before they even sent it out. I mean, they have people that work on these specific things. Alas, this one still somehow made it through the editing table. And well, let's just go ahead and listen to what Robert Downey Jr. had to say in the middle of this Audi commercial that he was doing talking about Audi's pairing with Marvel and how he's driven Audis in the past in the movies. You know I need to drive it, right? Sure. You have to. You have driven it already. Well, I mean, I as Tony Stark in Avengers 4, out in theaters spring 2019 I did, but this is... Wait, what did he just say? Did you catch that? Okay, le let me play that again. You know I need to drive it, right? Sure. You have to. You have driven it already. Well, I mean, I as Tony Stark in Avengers 4, out in theaters spring 2019 I did, but this is up. Holy sh**. Are you serious? Okay, now if you're like me, that made your jaw drop, but some of you may be like, well, what's the big deal? There's a couple of big deals here, and it's not just because he's stuck in space right now. Yeah, he's stuck in space, and we don't know how he's going to be rescued, but I don't think anybody said, oh, you know what? They're definitely killing Tony Stark off at the beginning of this movie. That's not how it's going to work. We assumed he'd find some way out of it. I have a great video on that that I'll link at the end. The important thing here is that he said he drove this car in the movie. If you guys know anything about Marvel movies, they're not willing to break the verisimilitude of the film to introduce product placement. Now, if you will, humor me for a moment. In the earlier parts of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Audi definitely played a role in the Iron Man movies and you would occasionally either see the cars parked in his garage or he would be driving them. But as the movies have gone on further and the MCU has become its own brand, reckless and shameless product placement as opposed to something like Matt Damon's movies, where product placement is up for auction in almost every single movie and you can get major brand placement in the very first act of his movies. I like Matt Damon as an actor. I'm not taking a personal shot. I'm just saying the scripts that he ends up becoming a part of will sell off product placement in the very first act. They're not doing this in Avengers 4. They don't have to. So for me, when I hear that Robert Downey Jr. has driven an Audi in Avengers 4, that tells me he's going to be driving off with it at the end of the movie. They're not going to have an Audi placement in the middle of the movie. Now, granted, he might get back to Earth and have to go somewhere. But when you see brands that you know that specifically focus on the logo, that breaks the verisimilitude of the movie. And what I mean by that is that the movie's inner truth somehow becomes lessened because it takes you out of the story. Again, no personal shot at Matt Damon, but a lot of other movies struggle to get made with financing. So the only way that producers can end up pushing these things through is to get some major corporate sponsorship. While that was super important to Marvel at the beginning, 
of the cinematic universe and the beginnings of Iron Man that's less important now. So when I hear Robert Downey Jr. say, well, I drove this as Iron Man in Avengers 4, that tells me that him and Pepper Potts are driving off in a white Audi convertible after their wedding at the end of the movie. And that tells me that he didn't die. Now, why this is important is Captain America was definitely number one on everybody's death prediction list. And I think he's still number one on mine, considering that heartfelt goodbye that Chris Evans said via Twitter and the finality of it, even though the Russos have said that Cap isn't done, we may see him in some further iterations. I'm pretty sure he's going to die during this movie. But man, Iron Man was right up there with him. I've covered the death of Iron Man on this channel, and a lot of people have supposed that Iron Man would go on to play the Uncle Ben role for Spider-Man. It would absolutely fit. It makes the most sense, actually, and a lot of people have argued that. However, if he survives this movie, then none of that is true. And we can also assume now he at least survives that early stint in space, although for a lot of us, I don't think that was really a point of any contention. Guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Is this just not as big a deal to you, or is him surviving the whole movie kind of a big Easter egg considering he may wield a second gauntlet? Let me know what you think in the comments, and quickly, let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go, including the new winner of our Funko Pop giveaway. So the new winner of our Stan Lee Funko Pop giveaway that we're doing every Friday, we have some Walmart-exclusive Stan Lee Funko Pops from the Winter Soldier. We're giving those away along with the Thanos exclusive as well every Friday this month. Uh, the new winner is Robert Garino. Thank you for your support here at the channel. All you have to do is message me on Instagram directly. Uh, and I will give you a code or you can screenshot me commenting on your comment from your account uh, and I'll get that right out to you. Congratulations, Robert. If you want to win the last one of these Stan Lee dolls or the Thanos exclusive, that's the one where he's actually holding. Uh, you can see like the time gen activating in his hand. Or if you want to win either of the PlayStation 4 Pros or this awesome Avengers 1 commemoration plaque, it's a Marvel Trendsetters limited edition commemoration plaque for the first Avengers movie has 10 original film cells. This thing is super cool. We're giving this thing away at 75,000 subscribers right around the corner. Same rules apply to enter all of this stuff. Leave a like and a comment on this video, subscribe to the channel, and then hit the notification bell because the more videos that you like and comment on, the better chance you have of winning. My name is Michael Roman. This is Everything Always. Thanks for checking out the channel and I'll uh, be posting again real soon.